so I have three entries with the name Jerry, Lucy and Pia if I use Lucy's name name already exists if I name if I use Jerry's name name already exists if I use some other name maybe interface it's gone hello everyone welcome back to part one of Appian tutorial series so today uh, this video is gonna be all about how we can validate duplicate entries in our database let's say uh, there is already an entry exist with the name of Lucy in the table okay now if I try to enter the same name over here uh, Lucy it should throw a validation me message saying that name already exist okay so today we'll see how we can do that uh, it's not storing the value because i have not uh, passed a value and saving to parameters so yeah i'll do that but uh, yeah without wasting further more time let's get right into the video so let me first take a local variable okay so I will store, I will uh, try to save uh, the value of this name field in my local variable. I'll name it as local name and pass the same in save into parameter local name value local name. Now if I enter the same name it will store. Here it's, it's here it's storing right okay so for this for in order to validate uh, the duplicate entries we will have to create an uh, you know expression root so i'll go back and create i'll go back to app in designer and create an expression rule yeah oh, 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 oh. Rule. Let's name it as okay, validate duplicate name. Okay, I'm not gonna provide the expression. Uh, sorry, I'm not gonna provide the description. Create So before that, uh, I just wanted to tell you guys that uh, we can create uh, expression rule by two ways. One is by uh, create, uh, one is by creating from scratch, and the other way, other one is by duplicate existing expression rule. Okay. So let's go back to our expression rule. So in here, we will uh, query a table. Okay, using a bank query entity my bank query entity then comes entity i already have a constant created so i'll call that constant over here constant k application this is the constant okay then comes query a bank query we will the we will query uh, we will query the same table where we are storing our name okay a bank query uh, filter a bank query filter a bank query filter field so field is a name okay operator so we will try to fetch the same name okay using equals to operator if it is same as what we have in our database then it should throw a validation and we will do that using equals to operator equals okay and value I will create a rule input over here and name it as name cool and it is of type text right I'll pass that rule input over here rule sorry name cool we are done with filter then we have paging info we don't uh, need uh, all these parameters selection aggregation and logical expression paging info a bank paging info start index one batch size one 
a data okay and that's size one i am not uh, fetching the entire data because that comes under bad practice okay and sort info sorting i'll pass it as null let's see okay value uh, when the value of operator is a uh, value must not be null or empty okay so we can uh, use this apply when parameter so it should only apply this filter when the value of name is not null okay a bank is not null or empty ri name no it will not throw this error yes gone okay now we want only this data so i can use the index function index data okay now let's test this rule out oops do i have only one entry in my database no right i have three in total okay because i have passed the path size as one that's why it is only fetching the first row okay so i'll pass the name over here let's see what it gives do you see yes there is an entry in the database okay so we'll save it and call this expression rule in my interface cool in validations if so we'll check if a query entity is fetching any data with the same name or not by using a bank is null or empty if a query entity is null okay that means there is no entry exist with the with this name but if it is not null that means there is already an entry exist in the database okay so if it is null or empty rule kid validate duplicate name will provide the name name as we are storing our name in local name okay local name if it is null or empty that means there is no entry with the same name right so do nothing else print entry name sorry name already exists okay now let me test this rule out okay lucy see if i enter something uh, let's jerry name already exists because we have a uh, uh, we have uh, this entry in our database with the same name let's see jerry okay let's see do we if let's see if we have a uh, uh, pia okay we have let's see if we have gia no we don't have okay now i will pass the same name i'll use the same name in my text field nothing but if i pass pia if i use pia's name it will say name already exist okay now let me uh, you know uh, enter some space uh, before this name it's gone that means it's not working as expected right it should throw a validation even if there is some space entered it should throw a validation right so what we can do for that we can use trim in my value it will trim all the unnecessary space so if i enter the same name with some space pia it's trimming right now i have to use the same trim function over here in local name because we are passing this Na local name in this name parameter okay so we have to use a trim function over here as well trim if i try again pr 
name already exist right now if I try with uh, Gia it's gone okay now I will enter some space after the name okay uh, Pia Pia sorry Pia name already exists uh, so I will use another local variable to fetch the data of a table and to show you guys all the names all the entries in my table local application okay so I already have an uh, expression rule created for this rule k application cool so I have three entries with the name Jerry, Lucy and Pia. If I use Lucy's name, name already exists. If I, if I use Jerry's name, name already exists. If I use some other name, maybe interface, it's gone. So I think that's all we have for today. I'll see you guys in my next video. If you want more such videos, Please like my video, share it as much as you can and yes, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't watched uh, the most asked app in interview question series, please go watch it. It will be useful for you guys if you are going to appear for an interview. Yeah, until then, cheers, bye-bye.